The other thing that comes with this to my mind is patience. That's another thing that, pa that yeah. parents and mothers try to teach their children. And, and I find Montessori to be especially effective in this because of the materials yeah. and because of the way uh, it works. Mm -hmm. yeah, and even the whole sharing things. We only have one of each piece of material in the classroom, right? So if somebody wants to do something and somebody else has it out, well, they, they don't have a choice. They have to wait. Go and choose something else to do. And keep an eye. You can look. You can watch. And you can see. As soon as he puts it away, you can go and get it out. Yeah. How do right? you How do you do that? Because it's impossible well, it's to tough. do at home. It's tough. But it's the boundary, right? Mm. It's the boundary. It's the saying. Yeah. But right now, somebody else has it. And sometimes I will say to them, like, I will be giving a presentation, and somebody will say, Well, I, I need you to come and do this with me. And I and I say, Well, would you like me to just leave what I'm doing here? And they kind of look at me, and I say, Well, I'm, I'm actually working with this child here, and I'm really, you know in the middle of something, but I, I, it's not something that I can really leave, so what do you think? How do you think I should handle this? And they will say to me, oh, well, come when you're finished. Or they will say, oh, I'll ask somebody else, right? So if I'm not always available, they'll figure out another way to do it, right? That's an important piece, right? And they never just go and grab things. They do, of course they do. Okay. Of, course, of, <laughs> Let's see. of course it happens, it happens. <laughs> you know, as with time it doesn't, at the beginning, sure. Mm. Or if, I mean, I have two that just, they constantly, it, they fight over the door. One person, one of them will come in the door and the other one will run and close the door. And then this one's saying, but I just came in the door, I wanted to close the door. And literally, we literally have to go over there and pull them apart. It happens, right? But these are where your grace and courtesy lessons come in, where you say, okay, next time he does that, what, what can you say to him? And let's practice it. And when she says that to you, what are you going to say? Or, or you know, for example, if somebody says, please don't do that, what are you going to do? And they sort of go, I'm going to stop. It gives them ownership, right? It, make, it, it, gives them, it gives this person ownership by saying, I don't like it when you do that. Please stop doing it. But it also puts that person in a situation where they're at, they, they, what choice do you have? Because if you continue to do it, you are showing yourself to be what? Right? And that's what they're starting to realize. They're starting to look at themselves and go, oh, I don't want to be that person. Right? So now the awareness is beginning. And that's, that's what we're trying to get to, is the awareness.